So I have awakened a lot of devil fruits and blocks fruits. But today we have a fruit that is known for some of the best stun abilities in the entire game. This fruit right here, the ice fruit. If you ate this fruit, would you get brain freeze? Ah! <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't know if you get brain freeze or not, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. Nom, nom, nom. Yes, delicious. I've now got the ice fruit. Are we gonna be taking this fruit from level zero all the way to fully awakened? There is an all out war going on right now. Oh, that is a quake fruit. Oh, and luckily for me, I've used this fruit before, so I've got all of the moves unlocked. So I don't need any new moves, but instead, we need to get this mastery level up because 300 is definitely not enough. Oh my, what is happening? This guy is just out for vengeance. Ice spears. Ice bird. He's stuck in a cube. No! This current mastery just ain't it, chief. So while they're all having an all-out war, and I don't want to get chased in like a manhunt, I'm running away. We're going to go find a place to grind and level up. I get enough mastery to be able to safely do the ice raid. But I just noticed something while running over here. Unlike the light fruit, where if you use hacky, yeah, it doesn't make my ice spear get hacky. That's pretty cool. The true test of this devil fruit will be if I can take down a boss like Captain Elephant. So if I use ice bird, I can then turn him into an ice cube. And then ice surge, that's like the stamp. I still need to learn this fruit. It's been so long. The last time I used this fruit was in the first... Oh, hey. First seed, Glacial Epoch. That is so cool. Like, it has such a big range as well. So I wonder how this fruit's gonna be once we awaken it. Why am I doing, like, no damage? Bruh. Ah, that's why. My stats are completely whack. Hold on. Captain Elephant, you need to go, buddy. Eh, eh, take this. Ah. Eh. I lost 2,000 bounty. Okay, maybe bosses aren't the way to go for now. We're gonna need to fight some regular mobs. And sometimes I'm honestly too genius for my own good. We're gonna fight these lava pirates with our ice fruit. Like, surely we just instantly win. I mean, I've had to come all the way back to the second sea to do this. So maybe it's not the smartest move, but let's find out. We got one mastery already. This might not be terrible. Another mastery. It is a little bit slow though. So I'm gonna try something. If I get all of these guys together right now, come closer to your doom. You guys might think you're strong because you're lava pirates, but take this. Glacier. Epoch. Oh, that move feels so good to use. It does feel like the range of all these moves, though, are a little bit small. But at least I've got left clicks. That's Mastery 201. And honestly, I think I might just have to risk it with bosses and try and fight some easier bosses. Because otherwise, it's going to take so long purely fighting these guys from the second C. I mean, on a plus side, though, I don't think they can hurt me because I'm just purely made out of ice. So, like, if he tries to punch me, yep, I'm just too frosty. Can't do anything. So, let's head back to the third C and challenge ourselves with bosses. Let's begin with the <laughs> weakest boss in the entire third C, which which doesn't mean he's weak. It just means he's weak in this sea. This fruit has some really good stuns. And this isn't even awakened yet. So like, try and come towards me. Nope, you're an ice cube. I'm like Elsa, but on demon time. <laughs> ice surge. Boom. That was the wrong move. This is what I wanted to use. Yep, that's what I wanted to use. The stump. He's going down. Yes. Mastery 214. Honestly, that's not bad for like the weakest boss. Next up, we're taking down the Kilo Admiral. Okay, that Ice Spears move. I hope that it keeps it in Awakened move somehow because it's so cool. She's frozen. Finish her off. She's so low. Yes. Mastery 224. And one Cake Queen later, we get to Mastery 243. We're actually kind of speed running now. And with that, we're in Mastery 279. So close to the big 300 we're going for. Now that I've started using this fruit again some more, I've figured out that these stuns that you can do literally make it so much easier to 1v1 and fight the bosses. Because you use this move here, and then they can't move, and then you slice them up a little bit, and then fire some spears. And then honestly, it's not too difficult. She's stunned. Finish her. She's so low. Bang, bang, bang. We're going good old-fashioned trident. Yes! Mastery 291 was so close. And that's Mastery 300, meaning now we can actually try to awaken the fruit. So to do the ice raid, I need to find like a terrible fruit. In fact, do I have any spare ice fruits? I don't have any spare ice fruits, apparently. So let's take the smoke fruit. We talk to the mysterious scientist. And then boom, there we go. Would you like to trade a physical fruit for a special microchip? And this will let us take on the ice raid. We're in. Oh, we're on like a frozen lake. Oh, this is cool. Let's fight ice with ice. Best believe I'm not using anything but my ice fruit in this raid. <laughs> yes, defeated. You're next. I just smacked him up into the sky. Bone Berserker. He's breakdancing on me. Oh, how about an ice cube? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bonk. A boat has arrived. Sail to the next island. But oh, because it's cold enough in here, can I just... I'm frozen. I can just run across the ice. I see. So this fruit works exactly the same as magma in that I don't have to like actually touch the water. I can just walk across it. This is so cool. So I can just stand over here and just fire my ice spears into the fight. And I don't even have to do a thing. Ice bird. It's time to try a social experiment. If I sit here, does my ice disappear? Oh no, it just regens. Oh, where did he come from? He was just like, I'm gonna sacrifice my life. Even if I drown, I'm gonna get you. Bro, don't try and fight me. The ocean is my domain. 
I feel like the ice fruit could actually be one of the strongest fruit in the entire game. Because, like, how is anybody gonna catch me? I could just, like, walk all the way over there and be chilling. Island 4 cleared. So I think that means this is the boss island over here, right? I'm gonna be fighting the future form of myself. It's a mirror match. Awakened ice versus unawakened ice. Who will win? Obviously me, because I'm a pro. Boss spawning in. Here it comes. He isn't ready. There he is. He's got, like, ice wings. Bonk. Take this, ice guy. Aha. You might be made out of- Oh my- Wait, that move looks insane. My little ice wall is puny and small compared to his. Bonk. Wait, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Throw zone away. This boss has, like, way too many stuns. It's not fair. I'll just be, like, range support. And I'll come in and freeze him every now and again so he can't move. I think the boss is the only one left. Finish him off. Let me awaken! Congratulations, you completed the raid. Okay, so now I can get my first new awaken move. How much is this one gonna cost? Greetings, mortal. What do you seek? Ascend me. Do you wish to awaken your Z for 500 fragments? Of course. So I've got a brand new move called Cold Storm. And the best way that we can test it out is on the boss again himself. We're not testing this on some weak little noob enemies. We're going straight for the boss. Here is the boss, along with a lot of other enemies. Here I go. Cold Storm. Oh, wait, it's literally a cold storm. It's like a frozen... <laughs> like tornado thing. It's not too bad. It feels like it'll do like a little bit of damage and like knock people away, which is probably pretty important. But it's not big damage and it's not really ice. It's just like a cold breeze. I want big ice moves. After all, this is the ice fruit and not like the blizzard fruit. Hey, it does feel pretty strong, actually. It goes out in three different directions. Like a claw attack. Okay, I like it. This is only the first ability of many more we're actually gonna get. So this is pretty cool already. Hey, the raid is complete. So the next upgrade we can get from the mysterious entity, please don't cost too much. F ability for 2,000. I currently don't have an F ability. So what is this? Ice skating. No way. We can actually become Frozone? <laughs> Look at me. Can I fly with this? Let's try it. Oh, wait, there's a cooldown. Here I go. Here goes nothing. Ice skating. That it, I just did not fly. I just sunk. But at least I can, like, travel across the ocean really fast now. This is honestly really cool. <laughs> One of my favorite movement ever. Actually, I'm fast. Look at me. <laughs> Hold on. I can't stop. Oh! Okay, landed. Perfectly. That was easy. But does ice skating do damage? So, like, can I skate aggressively into them? Let's test. I'm just going to headbutt them. Hiya! All right, it doesn't do anything. But it looks really cool. And honestly, it feels really fast as well. I'm kind of shocked at how fast it is. Is it faster than light travel? I don't know. Ability number three. I think this is the halfway point. And hopefully, I have enough fragments to be able to get the rest of the moves. So you wish to awaken your X ability for 3,000 fragments? Yes, please. It better be good. It's called Glacial Sir. Is that what it was called last no. time? Either way, we've got two more moves to awaken. Because it's really hard to tell on the boss what the move actually does, I'm going to use it on the minions. Then are ready. Glacial Surge. <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. Me personally, I ain't tanking that IRL. If I get hit by that glacial surge, I will just turn to ice on the spot. Glacial surge. Oh, that move feels so good. And it does 3,000 damage at the moment. This devil fruit is really cool. Can I use my new move through walls? I want to test it on the boss. Okay, we're going behind a wall. Oh no, he's trapped me. Oh God, I need a wall. I need a wall. Perfect, here. Boom. Oh, it like travels through walls and like blocks and everything. That is really cool. Raid number four, meaning ability number four. And these are just getting better and better. So I can't wait to see what this ice bird turns into. What's it going to be? Like ice phoenix? 4,000 fragments? Jeez, that's expensive. Frozen dragon? It turned from a bird into a dragon. Oh, the boss does not know what's about to hit it now. Now then, what exactly does an ice dragon do? Or a frozen dragon do? Enemy over there? Frozen dragon. Bonk. Oh my god. Wait, that seems like it could go really far. There's only one way to test. We're going out into the middle of the ocean. Ice skating. Okay, this should be far enough. Frozen dragon. Can I, can it go that far? Oh, no way. And the way that it arcs is also really cool. You could like snipe somebody. Wait, how far can this actually go? We're all the way out this far from the next island. Let's see if I can actually hit it. All right, I can see a tiny speck pixel there of a person. Here we go. Yeet. Okay, it doesn't go that far, but it does go really far. Like, that was pretty close. Now, here it is. With this enemy gone, it's time to get my final move, I think. This is my final move? I don't know, but let's find out. Mysterious Entity, have I done all your trials? Ascend me! Plus 5,000, of course. Not enough fragments. Oh, you're joking. Okay, fine. You win, Blocks Fruits. I'll spend Robux on your game. Now the Mysterious Entity, ascend me! Boom. Ability V upgraded for 5k. And now it's called Absolute Zero. This sounds crazy. And I know the perfect enemy you can test out this move on. This is where we're going to be putting all these moves to the test. The ice castle. This is like my domain. I should have like a damage boost here because there's like ice moves in an ice place. But there is a certain somebody guarding my castle and we can't be having that. There he is. Awakened Ice Admiral. Cold Storm. I bet it hurts. I bet it hurts more than your ice does. Go on, hit me with one of your moves. I bet it'll tickle. 
Oh my god. Okay, yep. You thought yours was cool, but watch mine. Absolute zero. And now he can't move. And then we use a frozen dragon. We both use the same move. We're on the same wavelength. But who will win? This is kind of stressful, but I think I can do this. With a surprise attack, absolute zero. Neil. Bonk. Didn't see that coming, did you? Hit him with the spear. Hit him with the spear. This castle will be mine. Yes. And I found the library key. But I don't need that. I won. I'm the strongest. There is nobody left. This castle is mine now. Now, I specifically said at the very start of this video that this fruit has some of the best stuns in the entire game. So we're going to be putting that to the test. And we are going to be trying to stun five different people in this lobby. The first thing we need to do is we need to try and find one. Aha. A fresh third C newbie. Perfect. You will be stunned perfectly for me. Okay, I actually killed him. I found target number two down there. Prepare to be frozen, boy. Yoink! That's another freeze. All right, goodbye. I'm out of here. Now, my next prey, I see literally four people all in the same place. We'll try and get all of the last three in one single hit. All right, is this guy here in combat? Let's do a quick tester. He appears to not be in combat. What about this guy? Yep, I hit one. Quick, I'm out of here. <laughs> They're chasing me! <laughs> run, run. That's right, they'll never catch me. My ice skating is on another level. Do a quick trick off here. <laughs> I'm actually insane at ice skating. Look at me go. They couldn't keep up. That's three out of five, though. We need a couple more. This guy over here will be perfect. Here I go. I'm inbound. We hit him with one of these. And then a cold storm. We're actually going to try and kill this guy because he's a Buddha filth. He doesn't even have PvP on. That's cringe. Ah, we still need to find two more, then. The search continues. I've learned how to ice skate vertically. Look at me. I'm ice skating like this. What? Wait, I see possible prey. I don't think this guy has his combat on. Oh, I think this guy's trying to take me down with his little pistol thing. Freeze! I missed. No, oh, no, no, no. Run away. My skills are on cooldown. Oh, I hit them both. They're frozen. Bang. Hit him with one of these. And now we just ice skate around and hope for the best. Frozen dragon. I hit that guy with ice, but he's not frozen. How about now? Yes, he's frozen. I gotta kill this guy. No, no, no. He's destroying me. Ice skating. Make him kneel. The ultimate stun combo. Oh, I'm dead. Is he dead though? Yes, I think I got him. That means we stunned five out of five people. So yeah, I'd say this fruit is probably the best of stuns. Hold on a second. What is this? I've got giant electric claws on my hand. But are these things actually as strong as people say they are? 